Well, hello guys, I hope you're doing well. I have a great video for you today. It is gonna be all about my current natural beauty favorites. As you guys know, I'm really passionate about finding products that are super effective, but that are also cruelty free and don't have any scary chemicals and stuff like that um, for your own safety. So I'm always really excited to try out new products <laughs> that I think you guys might like and that I'm a huge fan of. So everything that I've been using today, I have been using either for at least a couple months at the shortest length of time or years. And I will definitely try to link as much as I can down below because while you can get some of the products in, you know, your local drug mart or Whole Foods, whatever, um, some of the foods you can kind of only, some of the foods, some of the products you can only get online. So if you are interested in trying out any of the products that I talk about today, just check the description box. All right, so the first product that I wanna share with you guys, I have right here, and it was actually sent to me, which was so super nice. This is a company called Madame Glam, and they are from New York, and they're actually most known for making um, vegan and non-toxic nail polishes, but they sent me four lipsticks from their new range that are ab absolutely stunning. I'm actually wearing my favorite shade right now, which is this beautiful coral pink color, as you guys can see right here in the tube. And it is one of their matte lipsticks in the shade Liar, if you guys can see. I'll link everything down below, but this is definitely my favorite shade. I've been wearing it all the time. I'll actually swatch them for you guys. As you guys can see, this is Liar. And then the next shade is a very light um, pink color, and this is actually one of their velvet lipsticks, so it's quite a bit more sheer. So as you guys can see, it is very light, and you could also layer it over top of other colors, but really nice for the springtime as well. Third, we have another velvet lipstick, and this is in the shade Pucker Up, which is a really fun, bright color as well. And because it is a velvet lipstick, it also is on the more sheer side compared to the matte shades, but it really is quite bright and almost reminds me of like, I don't know, watermelon for some reason. So as you guys can see, it's like more pink than um, Liar, but it's still a really nice pop of color. And last but not least, I have another matte shade and this is called Cherry Wine. And this is an absolutely perfect red color that isn't like a fire engine red. It has a little bit of darkness to it, but at the same time, it's not like a burgundy or anything like that. You could still totally wear this in the summertime with like a white shirt and denim. This would look absolutely beautiful. So that's cherry wine right there. I absolutely love these lipsticks and would definitely recommend them to you guys. And even though this video is not sponsored, I'm not being paid to say this, Madame Glam has actually sent me a discount code for you guys for 30% off everything on their site for the entire month after this video comes out. So I will put the discount code right here and I will link everything down below. Staying on the makeup bandwagon, I have two new products from a company that I absolutely love that I have talked about multiple times on my channel now, and it is none other than Sweet Leilani. It is a wonderful Canadian company with really good ethics, and it is vegan, paraben-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and fragrance-free. So for people who do have very sensitive skin or some kind of, you know, other skin conditions going on, this is a very gentle, very safe, um, makeup and skincare company. So I have two products that I have been absolutely loving from the line and the first is the Sweet Leilani Island Paradise Perfecting Primer. This is just a really great option if you are like me and usually doesn't use a primer because it feels very heavy and like there's some kind of film on your face and doesn't even end up working. <laughs> so this has been a really welcome change where it is very light, it isn't really goopy, but at the same time it does help your foundation go on a lot smoother and last longer. And of course it doesn't have all the scary ingredients and a whole bunch of silicone. So if you are looking for a much more natural primer, I would definitely recommend this. The second product is a foundation from Sweet Leilani and this is their Prep Prime and Powder Foundation. It is a liquid foundation that I personally really like to use with a beauty blender because I find it just 
soaks into the skin better that way and what I probably like most about it is that you can really tune the coverage to whatever you want that day if you want just a really sheer you know kind of coverage I find that just doing one layer still lets you see a bit of the skin underneath and it doesn't really look like you're wearing foundation so it's great for those no makeup days so to say but if you did want to take it into a medium to full sort of coverage you can definitely do that i would just suggest letting your face kind of dry down after you do the first layer and then just go in with the second and your medium to full so if you are looking for a really good natural foundation won't clog your pores definitely try this one out the next two products have been around for a very long time i think i've had these guys for a couple years at least they are in for the long haul and I'm sure many of you guys have heard of them it is the Amazonian blushes by Tarte and in general I love Tarte as a brand it is super popular if you guys haven't heard of it it's at Sephora and yeah like I said I've had these for such a long time and have used them so much but there is still so much product in the pan a little bit goes a really long way so the first shade I have here is fanciful and this is just a brighter sort of pink but it still looks very natural on the cheek and then the other shade I have is a little bit lighter it is a dusty rose kind of pink but it has like a little bit of beige to it if it makes any sense so if you wanted like a very light pink cheek this is absolutely beautiful this is in the shade party and yeah I just absolutely love these blushes because sometimes I want to have you know glitter and really bright sort of colors on my cheeks but if I wanted something much more subdued something much more natural I really like these now the next product is actually kind of fun and that I don't see quite often and it is a glitter it is from glitter evolution and I got this on green tree beauty which I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about multiple times they have such good natural beauty products and I'm so glad they carry a product like this because I don't know if you guys know but anytime you have glitter in a product it is a micro plastic that then probably ends up in our water and God knows where else so it is really cool that they have made a biodegradable glitter and I just wish more companies would do stuff like this because I think it is still a fairly like rare sort of item so if you wanted to jazz up your makeup or put glitter all over your body for festival season or whatever I think this is just such a fun product and I would definitely recommend it now moving into skincare I have three products that I have been using for probably up to two years now so I can definitely tell you guys that they are good at least for my sensitive combination skin and the first product is from Pacifica I don't know if you guys will be able to see the label I'll just read it to you it is their kale detox deep cleaning face wash I absolutely love this because it doesn't strip the skin even though it foams up a little bit and really gets your skin squeaky clean but my face doesn't feel tight or uncomfortable um, afterwards and it's only like $13 I buy this at my local you know health and beauty store and it's just so great because I buy one once every four months and I'm good and it's just such a good cleanser so now the next product I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about so many times because it is that good and I just like to share it with people because I think they would really like it it is also from Green Tree Beauty and it is the Viva Organics Amaze Exfoliating Gel I'm not going to go into detail of why I love it because I've talked about it so many times but basically this is a gommage exfoliator which means that you put it on your face when your face is clean and dry and you slowly start massaging it into your skin what you will find will happen is that all the dead skin cells on your face will start forming into these dead skin type of lint balls and I don't know why but it is very satisfying to feel that happening and just how bright and clean and clear your face looks after you use it so I use this guy probably a couple times a week and I do a mask afterwards and it is just an integral part of my routine that I love so much and it's just a really gentle way to exfoliate so whether you have sensitive skin whether you have combination skin this is a really great option the next skincare product is actually a mask and I don't even know how to pronounce the name of it I think it's 
Ayun, maybe, maybe, maybe it's French, I don't know. But funny enough, this is actually made in Canada and I bought this in Winners for a very, very low price. And as I started using it, I ended up finding a whole bunch of their products in really high end natural beauty stores. So I definitely got a bargain, but to be honest, I would repurchase this again because it is that good. It is a vitamin and mineral um, mud mask that comes as a powder to begin with. And then you just mix it with a little bit of water and just spread it all over your face. And I find this really nice because it is a very gentle clay mask. A lot of times I find it's very harsh how clay dries on my skin and it leaves it very inflamed and feeling tight. So if you do want the benefits of a clay mask that draws out any kind of oil and impurities from your skin but doesn't strip it or dry it out, I think this one is really nice. So the next product is actually a skincare product as well. I don't know why I counted only three, but this is sunscreen. And you guys, I have been trying so hard to find a good natural sunscreen that didn't leave my face in a greasy mess and that also had a high SPF rating. So I have been trying out so many and this was finally the one that I was like, okay, it's pretty good, I'll use it for now. Overall, I would give this sunscreen probably an 8.5 out of 10. I still feel like there should be some kind of sunscreen out there that has a thinner consistency but does the same thing. So if you guys have any that you really love and would recommend, please let me know in the comments down below. But overall, I think this is a great sunscreen. It does what it's supposed to do. I haven't broken out from using it and it layers pretty well under makeup. And last, but certainly not least, my favorite hair care product, probably of all time, because I have been using this for at least three years, I think. And not three years in the sense of me buying it, you know, once and then waiting five more months before I buy a second bottle. No, I have always had this in my shower. I use it religiously. I use it at least once a week because it just hasn't stopped working. My hair hasn't gotten used to it or whatever people say happens if you use a product too many times in a row. But I love this stuff. It is from Earth Science. It is their olive and avocado hair mask. This is something that I just pick up at my natural health food store. And I think the most I've ever paid for this is like $15. Usually I can get it for like 11 or 12 because it's on sale. And this stuff is just so good. The ingredients are so good. It's cruelty free, it's vegan, and it is so nourishing without weighing your hair down, without leaving it sticky or some kind of weird residue on it as some masks do. This is just such a good hair mask that I don't hear many people talk about. And it is the only thing that I have really been using for deep conditioning my hair and I absolutely love it. So if you guys are looking for an amazing hair mask that is super inexpensive, I really think this would work on a lot of different hair types. Like I have fairly fine hair, maybe it doesn't look that way, but my hair is quite fine. And I find this doesn't weigh it down. It doesn't leave it like falling straight and kind of stringy and it's still thick and really nourishing enough for people who have probably very coarse hair and have like you know different textures going on. I really think this would be good for a lot of different people and it is just so good. So we have come to the end guys. That is my current natural beauty favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are interested in switching over your routine and supporting companies that are cruelty free and are conscious of you and the environment, I think that is super cool and that I hope to see much more of in the future. So as I said before, I will link everything down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. And overall, all the brands that I mentioned today also have a whole bunch of other products that I've also tried and think are really great. So if you guys have any questions about any other products that they might have, just send me a direct message or whatever and I can let you know because I have tried out <laughs> a lot of products. And if there are any that you guys would really recommend to me, such as a more lighter feeling sunscreen or any kind of natural beauty favorites that you guys are really passionate about, please let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, I hope you guys are having a spectacular day. Keep being your own kind of beautiful and I will see you soon. Bye guys.